Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, uh I might have screwed that up. All I hear is fire. Um. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Wow! This is beautiful. Um. Hi, Steve. Oh, you play a lot of Pokemon. Um. Yeah, so this is Pyre. It just came out yesterday. Um. It's by Supergiant Games. The devs and public by the, the devs that did, um. Bastion and Transistor. Um, and I'm playing it with a controller. How is the audio? Is this good? Let me know. I checked out the uh, AMA that they had on Reddit, that Supergiant had. Um, the one without spoilers. But I still, all I know is that this is like a team based game. With a versus mode? I guess PvP? <gasps> My gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh! It's so beautiful! It's pretty. Okay. What did I do? Oh god, what did I do? Okay, that was a little buggy. My controller is vibrating. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of like a comic style. Your days in the downside brought slow, lonesome agony. Now as you lie yielding to the elements, something else rumbles into view. Three shapes emerge, each clad in strange attire. Okay. Wait. Okay. Press X and Italians. Oh my god. Masked Woman. That's the one that they put on their um that's a character that they put on their uh like promo stuff. Hmm. Another piece of filth expelled from the Commonwealth. Oh my god, I love the character design. <laughs> so far I love the audio, like the soundtrack. I was listening to it earlier before we played. It's really good. Persona um. Tetamo. Oh my gosh, the voice actors are so good. Interact to change this. The masked wander wanderers presume you are male. Oh. Oh, so I can be he, she, or they. I am she. Super enough. It's, it seems she still is. Then stand aside. I'll just send her to a better place. It seems happy, aunties. <laughs> Is she a <laughs> Tere Ulios? Madame Bouchon. Eh. Pistos. Oh my gosh, the voice actors are so good. 
I love the voice actors. After the others leave, the man turns towards you and begins unfastening his mask. Oh, no, no. I don't like that. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Don't care who you are or what you did. None of that matters anymore. All of us, were equal. Nothing's here. Oh, he's taking care. <laughs> I don't like this. There, it turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Headwind. Okay. They should have kept him masked. Oh well. No ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to an old black wagon. Nothing like the stately vessels that paraded Commonwealth criminals through the alabaster streets. Oh, there's their mask right there. <laughs> I never knew that those uh, masked characters would have a face. Oh, the voices sound vintage? Yeah, I think so too. The weather beaten wagon is much a mess inside and out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature taking stock of ancient looking books. Oh, I love her voice. The girl with the huge horns. She loses a class by Jod Jodario? I think? She's the most imposing of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life. She's my favorite. Senta. And as for myself... <laughs> He's a dog! <laughs> so Ruki Greentail. The horned woman then motions to the other. She glances at you sidelong as she speaks. That is so. Sala Haladium. Mob Anastasi. Disa Anastasi. So he's asking if I can read. Um. Yeah, I can read. You confirm their suspicions. There is no use trying to hide it now. Oh, I guess... <laughs> they can't read. The exiles indicate the books in their possession. One of several such heavy, ominous volumes. You can, you pick up one of the old and heavy volumes, bound in materials you don't recognize. I am not going to read all of this. Interactor, press Y for a clear look. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um. Okay. The book describes a complicated method through which exiles can return to the Commonwealth. The words swim through your mind as Headwind gets your attention. But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give out. I guess the Commonwealth is not. Rita! Dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? Oh my god, all the voice actors. So are soon so after your sentence into exile. It is true what the book says. You can be free again. Perhaps not you yourself, but someone worthy of the privilege. You witness now the path toward salvation. You witness the rights 
The one way to return to glory. Who is this the Though battlefield? In your case, I hardly think it possible. From the trailer? Yet, by the grace of the scribes, it is my duty to inform wow. you anyhow. Hello, Shay. Glory Gasta. Oh, man. Beretusta. Oh, okay. So I'm the reader, so I'm the one that controls the party. You look upon the three of them from beyond, as Hedwin calls out. I'll give a second. Okay, so the downside is a vast purgatory. Where the convicts and enemies of the Commonwealth go. Focus all your mental faculties to do as Hedwin asks. So I guess I'm the strategy. I'm the strategy. A celestial orb falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. <laughs> Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate, for they must prove their trust in one another, not just in themselves. Okay. The three must act as one. Only one exile can move at a time. Oh my god, her movement's awesome. Now plunge into the pyre with the orb and be purified. Yes, the exiled rookie has the way of it. Whoever steps into the flame is banished for a time. Okay, so rookie is His or her cohorts must make do on their own. Oh, but it is not so simple. In the rights, you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Beware the aura that surrounds them, as they shall beware yours. The aura is your wrongdoing. Accept it as a part of you. Okay. Cast your aura we'll like a to stone. Banish adversary from afar. Correctly done. Again. Just so. Nice. A glorious performance, I admit. Cool. More than I expected <laughs> from the likes Thanks, of you. Dave. Grasp the orb once more. Jumping around in Sven masks, yeah. The orb absorbs the aura. Then the orb aura when quenches you have the, orb. the flame. Oh, okay. So why do I want the orb? Now I say Press just 